Hello and welcome to the weather update for March 22nd, 2019. And uh good deal of clouds over the area, good deal of uh good deal of wind too uh today uh, as you see here. Um and there's a lot of snow upstate. So um Matt is upstate in Albany. He may be getting some snow up there. Um and uh you can see uh some rain showers up to our north and it's been the trend today but for the most part it's been dry been some spotty showers but for the most part it's been dry you could see plenty of clouds around in this big cyclonic circulation from that storm that we experienced yesterday last night that moved through now the rainfall totals were not um were not i don't think we can get rainfall on here maybe we can yeah Good, we can. So I'll show you the rainfall here uh, on this uh, underground site. It is slow, though. It is a slow site to use. Um, but anyway, you can get an idea that we've had on Long Island generally around three quarters of an inch on the island, but some higher amounts that I've been able to see in New Jersey. You can see some higher amounts popping up. Yeah, this isn't working out too well. <laughs> um, but uh, let's take a look and see what's currently going on. We'll look at Islip. Take a look at the weather right there, and I just want to show you the winds. All right, 44. Wind's not too bad, but the winds, the winds were picking up. The winds were pretty strong at certain times today. Uh, let's look at Farmingdale. Um, we said some pretty, yeah. West wind 16, gusting 29. So we're having some gusts uh, that are going to be up there, and the winds are actually only going to get worse as we go on. So let's look at Ventus Sky, and we can see here. You can see these streaks of wind going across our area. So, um, and you can see the temperatures have now dropped. Uh, and we'll be dropping tomorrow. It'll be quite a blustery day. Uh, so uh, let's take a look at the models. Take a look at how our weekend will look into next week. Um, storm pulls away, but will we clear out? Will we see clear skies? That is the question. And uh, let, let me just not forget that they're experiencing some terrible flooding in the west. And again, this is all due to climate change. Uh, so this monster storm slowly pulls away from us tomorrow. And, uh, and then... We shouldn't have any more precipitation. That should be it. We should be dry until Monday. Then a very weak system moves through Monday. Very weak. It looks very weak. And the, most of it stays to the south. And then we should have dry weather Tuesday and Wednesday and maybe into Thursday as well. And then the next system maybe approaches for uh, the weekend. That's a ways off, though, so I don't really want to go over that. So let's see if we can clear these skies out. Let's look at the skies. Let's see. So, uh, yeah, this is the problem we're going to be having. So, GFS, or we'll back it up a little bit. You can see the keeps the clouds around pretty much through the weekend here. Keeps those clouds around. Uh, and uh, we, we clear it out, but then what, what happens Sunday? The Cirrus rolls in on us, so we may not get a clear day this weekend. We may have to wait till Tuesday to get some clear days. Tuesday and Wednesday look to be both clear, and maybe even Thursday too, perhaps. So, three clear days in a row and then for Friday we start to see the clouds roll back in on us so we may actually have three clear days in a row which is good um, we definitely need that um, but as far as tomorrow goes hmm, let's go and look at the name and see if that has any um, different opinion on maybe moving these clouds out of, out of here hmm, maybe over New Jersey by late morning maybe maybe I have to keep an eye on it. Yes, we'll have to keep an eye on it. So let's uh, go to the Ventu Skate once uh, once again because I want to show you the wind gust. This is going to be the the concern we're going to have for the next uh, day or so here. So you can see some wind gusts up near 40 miles an hour. Now if we go and we change it to tomorrow, Saturday, uh, let's change it to f uh, seven in the morning because I think this is when the winds are going to be at their worst. Yeah. See wind gusts going up to 40 miles an hour. So there could be some widely scattered power outages as a result of that. Um, yep, so the winds are going to be up. But I think by 5 o'clock, they should start backing off a little bit. Yes, so probably from now till say, early afternoon, tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to be dealing with some strong gusty winds. So that's the main hazard that we're going to be dealing with for the next uh, little while. So... Uh, but we should have some nice weather next week, so plenty of clear days and more visits to the Pine Barren. And lastly, let's look at the temperatures and see what the temperatures will be doing. Uh, we will definitely be cooling off. Uh, temperatures are going to be dropping to tomorrow. Highs probably going to be in the low to mid-40s. And 
and then for temperatures drop a little bit more. And then on Sunday, we have a recovery, and things will warm up into the mid-50s, maybe near 60 in Tom's River, possibly. Uh, but then with that second front coming through around Monday, um, we start to see temperatures drop once again into the mid-40s. And then for Tuesday, we have some really cold air coming in, actually. Tuesday, we may struggle to reach 40 on Tuesday, uh, and it's going to drop into the 20s at night. And for Wednesday, we'll probably rebound into the mid-40s. And then for Thursday, we start seeing more of a rebound into the upper 40s. And then for Friday, uh, we could see temperatures up near uh, 60 degrees, perhaps, uh, in certain parts of our area again. But anyway, that will wrap up this weather update. Take it easy, and thank you for watching.